Ah yes, the e-reader. This bad boy right here. You knew you were in for some strange times with this little add-on for a Game Boy Advance. Now obviously this was made for just the standard Game Boy Advance because this little plug right here would basically take place of the multiplayer port that you'd stick on there. And for some reason it always had those two clamps. I always wondered about that, but in any case, uh, most of us switched over to the SPs and that can make things a little more awkward, especially the way you have to put this in here. And this is an okay way to use it, it's just that, well, you can't close it with it on there. Got that little gap there. But uh, all is not lost. Uh, you can actually still play it on a DS as well. And uh, there's nothing getting in the way there. But it is still rather awkward, especially on the light. But that's not really what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the cool things you could do with this and the potential it actually had. Now, I got this bad boy. It was rather cheap and I uh, like the fact that you could get lots of different fun games. Uh, lots of Nintendo classics. Balloon Fight and Ice Climber and Pinball and Urban Champion, which I learned that I probably shouldn't have bothered with Urban Champion. You know, Donkey Kong. NES Classics and me never having an NES, you know, that's exciting to me. And then, of course, you have to deal with actually using it. And if you've ever used one of these things before, you know the drill. You basically fire it up, select you want to clear the data that's on it, because it basically records data of one game, kind of like one of those multi-carts you used to use and that sort of thing. And you take your cards and... You scan the little scan bar, one at a time, hope that it works. Sometimes you had to do it once or twice. Kind of a pain in the butt, but I'd say in most cases it was worth it, especially with the things they were going to do with it. I had some friends donate me a few cards that they got that were premiums in magazines and that sort of thing, like this one right here. It was a small little advertisement for a show that was on Fox, uh, the Kirby show. It's just a little slide puzzle. But, you know, it was a fun little free game they could insert in a magazine. Same thing with these Pokemon cards. Um, I'm not quite sure about the game. I should really take a look at it and see what kind of game it actually is. But it was an interesting concept that you could, you know, get your trading cards, but get a free game in with it as well. One of my favorites, actually, and I wish they put out more of these, was the Game & Watch collection, because vintage Game & Watches are pretty expensive. There's also one other e-reader property that I own, but we're going to hold this off for the next one.